Hey, buddy, and welcome. So, here is a 10 volt AA, and I was just doing a uh, discharge test on this in a volt um, USB power bank, which actually discharges at 1.5 amps of output. And I was discharging it uh, to recharge a uh, Motorola Fusion, and uh, it only got up to 20, no, it's got up to 30% of uh, mod capacity of, no, 30% of recharge on the phone before the batteries shut down, and the batteries were insanely hot. And they were so hot, they started basically having the wrapping remove the shrink wrap. So, here's the funny thing about this. This is what makes me hilariously chuckle about companies that uh, bogusly say they have these so-called claims of high power performance and great efficiency and everything for these lithium cells. Um, it's incorrect. It's highly false and just incorrect. What 10 volts claims is they can actually pump out the same amount of power that another company for nickel zinc power cells, which is actually correct. This can pump out 3 amps of output current for consistent long periods of time. So that means if I put them in here or even a 2 amp device that powers out, this will barely even get warm because of that much current they can allow. They claim on 10 volts, they claim that this can do the same thing as nickel metal zinc batteries, 3 amps. So if that claim was actually true, then my batteries in this char uh, discharger USB power bank for double A's would never even get touching warm. But yet, this was insanely hot enough that it broke the seal on the uh, shrink wrap at 1.5 amps of output. So basically, they are incorrectly wrong. No lithium cell in the industry right now for all the other fake cells like amp torrent, um, uh, for all, or throw up, throw wolf, whatever they're called, or uh, Dilu Power, or Pell Blue, or all those other random companies, do not allow any higher ampage than I believe 0 0.5 amps. So these are basically only meant. For devices that are for low power drain devices that are like for fans, uh, incandescent uh, flashlights, or low output LED lights, or anything that's not super high demand power output. So if you get these, do not think you're going to have supreme power output for these batteries because they are not meant for that high current ability as they supposedly claim they can do because they can't until a real company say uh, you know an actual company like this company comes out with lithium cells or even 